In this video, I'm going to show you how to make custom paintings in Minecraft. Let's get started. There are 26 paintings available in Minecraft. There are 7 one by ones there's 2 2 by ones 5 one by 2s there's 6 2 by 2s 1 2 by 4 2 3 by 4s and finally 3 4 by 4s but what about if you wanted to create your own or to create some custom artwork for a custom build just like I'm going to do over here later on in this video. Well, you'll need a custom resource pack to override these paintings in Minecraft. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I have created here a custom paintings pack. I'm going to leave this as a link in the video description below for you guys to download because it includes the correct file structure for Minecraft to tell it which paintings you want to replace. And it includes all the paintings with their correct names and their correct dimensions and resolution. All I've done to make it super simple for you guys to see which painting it is, I've just put in a gray box with the name on top. Now the first thing this pack requires is a pack.mc data file, which I'm gonna open for you guys right now. You can open this in any text editor you like. And I'm going to open that up now. Inside it, you'll see a pack format. This is what tells Minecraft which version of the game your pack is compatible with. And I'll leave a link in the video description below to a page which gives you a list of those pack numbers and also the Minecraft versions that they support. We're working on Minecraft 1.15, so pack number 5 is the one we need to target. And also you can put in a description that describes what your pack does to the game. In this case, I've put custom paintings. But that's all the code that you really need to make this pack work. You also need a packimage.png, and that's the little icon that will show up in the resource packs panel inside the game so you can see the pack easily. And then all you do with this is you copy the custom paintings folder with everything inside it over to your Minecraft resource packs folder. And I'll leave a link in the video description below to show you how to find that on both Mac and Windows. So if we paste that in there and head back to Minecraft, we'll be able to apply that to the game. Okay, so we now have the resource pack in place. So if we go to the game menu, options and resource packs, we should see this one here, which is called Custom Paintings. So we put that on and press Done, and the game will load that into the world for us. And now we can see all the paintings have been replaced by a grey background and the name of the painting on top of it. And the same is true of these as well. So that is how you replace the paintings themselves using a resource pack. But I also have a separate resource pack that I made in here that's called Carl Rides Paintings. Now if we go into here, we'll see that it's inside our Minecraft resource packs folder. You'll see that I have replaced some of the paintings with some special ones. Now these are for a video series that I'm going to be starting very soon on a 116 Neverhub design that I've come up with. But that is what the resource pack has in it. So if we go back to Minecraft and put that texture pack in on top of the custom paintings one. So the one we've just added takes priority over that one. Minecraft will load that into the world. And there we have it. As you can see, these six have been replaced with the special ones I just added, and so have those five as well. So this is what the Neverhub series is gonna be all about having platforms on each of the four sides of a never hub and having sort of this train station design across the never hub. And also as you come out of the tunnel, you'll see a way out sign as well, just like you would in a train station. And we've also got this as well, which is a never portal that takes you to the shopping district. So if we take off the custom paintings texture pack, we'll be able to see 
which of the paintings that we have replaced with these special ones in the game. There we go, we can see that all the rest of them are the same and it's just those six and the five over there and the ones behind me that have changed. So all the rest of them are as they were before. Now of course if you're using this on a multiplayer server there is a caveat. Everyone on that server will require this resource pack and will need to be using it or else your never hub is just going to be covered in random paintings. Uh, so you've got to make sure that everyone on your server is okay with that and they're okay with the paintings that you're overriding with that pack. So that's something you need to discuss between yourselves. But how are we doing this? How are we designing these? How are we making these actual paintings? Well, if you downloaded the custom paintings texture pack that's in the video description and gone through the folders right to the paintings at the end, all you need to do is take any of these paintings and open them up in an image editor. So for example, we have Aztec 2 here. Go to Open With. In this case, Pixelmator, but you can use Photoshop, you can use GIMP, you can even use Microsoft Paint if you wish to, it doesn't really matter. And it'll open it up in your software for you. And you just need to zoom in just to get it to a manageable size so you can see what you're doing. You can draw on it if you want to, you can add shapes, you can add images. Basically, your imagination is the limit here. Once you've done, export that as a PNG with the same name. Now I've done this already for the pointer. So if we copy that and go to the Minecraft folder and we go to resource packs and if we go over to custom paintings, assets, Minecraft, textures, paintings, and it's this one we want to replace. So if we paste that in, we'll get a replace command and there it is, there's the new pointer one. So if we go back to Minecraft, we'll see that the pointer one is still the normal image because we need to put the resource pack back on. So if we head into there and put across the custom paintings pack, and take off the Carl Rides Paintings pack that had the special ones in for the Never Hub and let that load into the game. And we should be able to see now me and my horsey in a beautiful frame on a beautiful painting with all the rest of the images back to being light grey with just the name on it. So that is how you make yourself a custom painting in Minecraft and replace them into the game as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Remember to ring that bell so you're always notified of new content and I'll see you in the next video.